so the very first thing all we have to do is just select the subject or use the crop tool to crop that is the 8 is to 10 ratio for our Instagram ratio and just you can rotate it and just drag the size at the perspective whatever kind of you know canvas size you want you can just adjust it from here now just hit ok now when you are done now let's select the subject or the object by using the quick selection tool and just roll all over the subject's body to make it selected in a perfect way you can also use the pen tool to select the you know model image in a perfect and a precise way here i have already made a selection so you can just press ctrl j from the keyboard or layer by copy to make a duplication now let's add the background to the photograph so let's just select this background just drag it and drop over here go to the edit and select the free transfer or directly you can press ctrl t from the keyboard now here we will again crop the image and just make a little bit of smaller image for our instagram uploads now this would be a pretty much perfect Now add a layer mask on this background layer and select the brush tool and select the black color on the foreground and just erase it from this portion because it should be you know very clean and it should be merged with your you know background or the front layer of the subject so just delete it in a, in a very perfect and precise way you can still adjust it from here Now make a duplication of the background or the subject layer again make a duplication of it and just make a free transform just press ctrl T and just rotate it in a horizontal way. Now you can see how our you know, canvas size or the you know the road side has been extended so now just merge both the layers again let's duplicate this image by pressing the alt key or duplicate or press ctrl J press ctrl T flip it horizontal way and here you are done you can see our canvas size has been increased now just merge all the layers now we're gonna create new layer and just make a clone tool of it so let's just first of all we'll just delete it from here the background so select the brush tool and just delete it just do it in a precise way Now all you have to do is let's create new layer and just you know select the clone tool and just press alt key and just clone it in a perfect way and just clone the background or the you know ground region from here just by pressing the left click of the mouse now again let's crop the image for our instagram ratio now just press the shift key and just you know decrease the size of the canvas now here it seems to be a perfect one now just when you are done you can just press the enter key and hit ok now this one looks very well pretty much perfect up to the now it is looking very kind of in a real one now you can press ctrl T and just enlarge the background up to then now this one is looking quite good you can still more erase it so where it is looking unnatural now the next thing next thing we're gonna do is let's just merge all the layers now right click on it and duplicate the layer again just right click on you know, change the blending mode to soft light and again do the same process on the above subject layer do the right click on it and select duplicate layer 
change the blending mode to soft light this will actually you know bring back the details and just you know pump out or enhance the subject so you can see the difference this it would be looking very very amazing guys so you can just adjust the opacity just make it to around 70 percent and you can see the difference you can also make the same percent of opacity on the above layer of the model image now let's just select the cows click on this uh, below clipping mask and just adjust it make it more darker that background just make the cows up to point over here and just make it a little bit from here to to get those nice details now this one is looking quite good but the you know subject is not actually matching with the background so we have to make it more darker so all you have to do is let's just first of all again make duplication of the make image so let's just select the this layer and press again the control J first of all let's make it more one more layer duplication of it layer and I'll just right click on it and you can see some more now add a layer mask on this image and select the brush tool and just delete it from the below portion because we want only on the hat region so we are gonna just erase it from the rest and just keep it uh, on the you know hat region so you can see the difference here is the before and here is after a huge difference can be seen on the photograph still you can make more adjustment from here by pressing ctrl L that is the levels and just hit ok now just merge both the background layer and the levels adjustment layer go to the filter select the blur and tilt shift the option of the blur gallery and just make it blur in a graduated blur from the below portion of the background so that it may look very original just like it is captured from the camera now just make a blur don't add too much of blur otherwise you you won't be able to you know see the background because here it is important to see the background so just add a little bit of blur just to get a little bit of you know blurness on the background now this one looks quite good <laughs> now just merge both all the layers right click on it and select merge layers now let's create new layer and create a clipping mask select the brush tool and just pick the nearest color by using the alt key and just paint it so that it will not be you know get uh, you know odd from the background or the image so we are just painting the edges of the image now just right click on it and select merge layer before merging you can still see the details here also there are the remaining there is so just pick the alt key and just paint it with the nearest color of the image so that your edges may not stand apart also do the same process on whole edges of the image Now just right click on it and select merge layers, select the blur tool and just do the same process of you know blurring the edges on the whole image. So just select the blur tool and just select the blur and just do the process of blurring on whole image so that it may you know merge with the background at look and it won't be looking like you know it is cut out image. So it is very much important to do this process. So just blur it on the face region also on the hat region. If you have the you know hairs then just leave it is leave as it is don't bad blur on the hairs because we there we actually want the minute details of the hairs so finally here we have done almost the process of you know blurring the edges now just you know merge it with the background layer before merging we gonna just make sure that everything is looking perfect and original now just right click on it and select merge layers and again okay, let's just select the crop tool before cropping here it is remaining so let's create new layer I create a clipping mask on the below layer select the brush tool and just paint the black hairs of the image 
with black color or the nearest color which is present so just paint it with these colors so that it may not look awkward now just merge all the layers right click on it is like merge layers let's crop the image now before going to the you know, camera filter all you gonna do is just, just you know cancel it and just make a duplication of the same image so press ctrl j and just make a duplication now go to the filter and select the camera filter now we're gonna add the vignette on the image first of all so just add the uh, vignette because we want vignette only on the you know below portion of the image so we're gonna just make sure that it won't look unreal or you know kind of unnatural so just hit ok now you can see the here is the vignette and here is and here now add a layer mask on this image select the brush tool and pick the black color from the back uh, foreground now we're gonna delete it from this portion because we want vignette on the below portion only so we're gonna just delete it from this portion here just delete it from here You can see the difference it is really looking kind of you know very similar and it is actually merging it with the background which is actually very good before it was you know looking kind of awkward and unreal now this one is looking quite good now just merge all the layers and select again filter and select the camera filter now go to the calibration tab then just add just the blue primary color to minus 42 and add some more vignette on the image a little bit of go to the edge hue or the calibration of the red color and you can just adjust it from here select the green primary color and just adjust the color from here make it to minus 42 and just blue to minus 43 now let's add some contrast on the image we're gonna reduce little bit of you know highlights just only a little bit and you can just see the difference if the shadows are looking good then you can just increase the shadows you can decrease some whiteness from the image only a little bit you can just add more blackness on the image decrease the blackness and just increase the clarity if you want otherwise a little bit of clarity would be pretty much perfect and just add a decrease some vibrance now still just adjust the skin tone of the image by using the hue of this orange color from hsl adjustment now we gonna just add uh, you know shadows of the image so just make sure to add a perfect shadow let's select the bluish color and just make it more saturated only not too much but a kind of you know minus or plus 15 or 25 would be pretty much perfect around that figure so select the shadows of the blue just make it to 15 percent now you can add highlights if you want make sure to get the highlights of the skin tone now let's select the rgb cover and click one point over here and just click the one point on this portion you can still you can play with this cover and see what it looks good for your image now just add a matte look on the image so just pump out a bit of you know cow from the down portion to upward <laughs> now this one is looking actually very good <coughs> you can still decrease some set exposure if you want still make more adjustment on the skin tone you have to make